Hello, I'm Kimberly Leopold, owner of Holistic Healthcare Centers located in Lyle, Illinois. Today I'm going to talk with you about the impact of traditional Chinese medicine on fertility and infertility treatments. Acupuncture has been shown through research to increase fertility and specifically increase fertility and clinical pregnancy rates when combined with assisted reproductive technology or, such as IVF. You can look below for the links to a couple studies, including Paulus in 2002 and Shannon et al. in 2014. When we do offer acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine for fertility treatments, we often do not include herbs when a patient is undergoing IVF. That is usually contraindicated with the biomedical medication they may be using. Additionally, we work to do everything we can to support our patients going through this process and we are offering soon a group, a support group for patients going through fertility treatments. Lastly, before we dive into a treatment and you can actually see what it's like to have a fertility treatment, I want to let you know that since 2013, I've been offering fertility treatments and so far have an 87% success rate on healthy live births. I've discussed the different research and treatment options related to fertility support through acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Now we're gonna look at an example of a treatment before ovulation or before transfer. Some of these points are highly researched and some are just points that I have learned clinically through training are very important to use during a fertility supporting treatment. The first points that we're going to use today are going to be LI4 connected with liver three. These points together work like a circuit to help free course the energy, as we call it, the chi. We're going to do it in a crisscross style as that helps to help further free course the chi. Next, we are going to do spleen six as that has a strong impact on the reproductive organs and the blood and hormones. We are now going to do Zi Gong paired with Stomach 28. And the purpose for pairing it with Stomach 28 is because we are going to be using Electrostim and we never cross the spine with Electrostim. Um, Zigong is basically over the ovary region. And while there's specific soon measurements, that's measurements in Chinese medicine, um, I've also learned to use by palpating, which is what I'm doing, feeling um, the abdomen. And actually, I apologize, we're going to use a kidney point instead. There we go. We will now add some points that connected together greatly impact the, um, the reproductive system, the uterus, and it's PC6 along with spleen four. How are you doing? We're going to add in do 20, which is the top of the head. And we then would add specific points based on the patient's Chinese medicine differential diagnosis. So these are somewhat based on her differential diagnosis, someone based specifically to fertility support. So we're not going, since this is an example of a treatment, we're not going to add any more points specific to her differential diagnosis. The next part is to connect the electrostimulation and we're going to connect it onto these points. This helps with um, 
the dimai. So this helps with increasing blood flow to the uterus um, and overall fertility support based on Chinese traditional Chinese medicine theory. And, um, and you can read all the research, every research article I've ever read has included Zigong, the outer points, with electrostimulation. And again, as we mentioned, we don't cross the spine with electrostimulation, so we have to couple it with those. And then spleen six, as it has a very strong impact on reproductive organs and hormones and the blood. All right, so this is an example. And the next step would be to turn on the electrostim to let her then rest for a half an hour. And um, after transfer or ovulation, the treatment would not include electrostimulation and it would use very different points.